the American-led strikes came in response to more than two dozen Houthi drone attack. The United States and five of its allies on Thursday carried out military strikes against more than a dozen targets in Yemen controlled by the Iranian-backed Houthi militia. In an expansion of the war in the Middle East that the Biden administration had sought to avoid. For the past three months, the American-led air and naval strikes came in response to more than two dozen Houthi drone and missile attacks against commercial shipping in the Red Sea since November, and after warnings to the Houthis in the past week from the Biden administration, and several international allies of serious consequences if the salvos did not stop. Airstrikes were carried out on Thursday against targets linked to the Houthi militia, including airports, military bases and weapon storage areas. On Thursday night, President Biden called the strikes a clear message that the United States and our partners will not tolerate attacks on our personnel or allow hostile actors to imperil freedom of navigation in one of the world's most critical commercial routes. In a statement, he warned, I will not hesitate to direct further measures to protect our people and the free flow of international commerce as necessary. But the Houthis have defied earlier American ultimatums vowing to continue their attacks in what they say is a protest against Israel's military campaign. In Gaza, more than 2,000 ships have been forced to divert thousands of miles to avoid the Red Sea, causing weeks of delays, Mr. Biden said. On Tuesday, American and British warships intercepted one of the largest barrages of Houthi drone and missile strikes yet, an assault that U.S. and other Western military officials said was the last straw. Some American allies in the Middle East, including the Gulf nations of Qatar and Oman, had raised concerns that strikes against the Houthis could spiral out of control and drag the region into a wider war with other Iranian proxies, such as Hezbollah in Lebanon and Tehran-backed militias in Syria and Iraq. But on Thursday, the United States decided to act. Britain joined the United States in the attack against the Houthi targets, as fighter jets from bases in the region and off the aircraft carrier. Dwight D. Eisenhower struck targets with precision-guided bombs. The United Kingdom will always stand up for freedom of navigation. And the free flow of trade, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said in a statement. The Netherlands, Australia, Canada and Bahrain also participated, providing logistics, intelligence and other support, according to US officials. At least one Navy submarine fired Tomahawk cruise missiles, the officials said. The president called the response from the international community united and resolute. Bahrain was the only Arab nation to take part. And there were questions as late as Thursday afternoon whether the small kingdom would be willing to publicly acknowledge its role. In the end, it did. The Houthi foreign ministry responded to the attacks with a statement that the US and UK must be prepared to pay a heavy price and face the serious consequences of their aggression. It was unclear whether the Allied strikes would deter the Houthis from continuing their attacks, which have forced some of the world's largest shipping companies to reroute vessels away from the Red Sea, creating delays and extra costs felt around the world through higher prices for oil and other imported goods.